Welcome to Programming the WCT-600. I'm going to show you how to program the WCT-600 for a cooling tower application. I'll program the connectivity sensor, a relay for the bleed relay, and a relay for the inhibitor feed pump. For the sensor, press inputs, and then sensor 1. The settings key, type, and choose contact and connectivity. Hit the check to accept it and then back to the main menu. For the relays, press outputs. For this example, the bleed valve is wired into relay one. So I'll hit the settings, go down to the mode. I'll make sure it's on off set point and then hit check. And then hit the settings again, just to make sure the input is the connectivity sensor you program for sensor input number one. Go back to the main menu, outputs, and now the inhibitor feed pump relay. Press relay 2 for this example, that pump is wired into relay 2, and then settings, then the down arrow until you get to mode, and you have a couple of choices, or three choices for inhibitor feed. You can do bleed and feed, bleed then feed, or feed after bleed, or a flow timer. I'm going to choose bleed then feed hit check, then the settings again, and I'm going to make sure that the bleed is the relay we just programmed for the bleed valve. So now the bleed valve will come on. When it turns off, the inhibitor feed pump will come on. Go back to the main menu, and after you make any changes in the modes for any relays, double check and make sure they're on auto and not off. So press the HOA, relay one is off, you want that auto. Relay 2 is off and you want that to be in auto as well. Then you can go back to the main menu. 